Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, Summer 2019, Question 5. f of x equals 2x squared plus 4x plus 9. We need to write f of x in the form a brackets x plus b squared plus c, where a, b and c are integers to be found. So looking at the form we're aiming for, this is a completing the square question. Now, when we're completing the square, we need an x squared without a coefficient before it. So we're going to factorise that 2 out of there. So we've got 2 brackets x squared plus 2x plus 9 over 2. We're now going to complete the square on our bracket. So we've got an x squared plus 2x. When completing the square, we half the coefficient of the x. So we get 2, lots of x plus 1, all squared. The reason for this is if we were to expand this x plus 1 squared again, we'd get 1x plus another 1x, which is where the 2x has come from. We would also get a plus 1 squared, or 1 on the end. So I'm going to minus 1 to cancel that out. And there's the plus 9 over 2, which we've already got. Simplifying this gives us two lots of x plus 1 squared plus 7 over 2. Now, to get this into the form asked for in the question, we need integers everywhere. So we're going to multiply back by the 2. So we get 2 lots of x plus 1 squared plus 7. For b, we want to sketch the curve with equation y equals f of x, showing any points of intersection with the coordinate axes and the coordinates of any turning point. So the first thing to do is look for any intersect with the y-axis. So we're going to find f of 0. We can use either the original equation or the new one. I've gone with the original one because it's a little bit easier to use. So f of 0 is 2 times 0 squared plus 4 times 0 plus 9, which is 9. So it's going to cross the y-axis at 9. Looking at the x-axis, we can see on our formula that we've got two lots of x plus 1 squared plus 7. So we've got a square number plus a positive number. So f of x can never go below 0. And in fact, because we've got a positive square plus 7, it can't reach 0 either. So our line isn't going to touch the x-axis at all. But this will help us find the minimum. So the smallest that x plus 1 squared can get is when x plus 1 equals 0. And this is going to happen at x equals minus 1. If x plus 1 is 0, then f of x is going to equal 2 times 0 plus 7. So 7 and our minimum point is going to be minus 1, 7. We can now do a sketch of our graph. We know it's a positive quadratic graph, so it's going to be the quadratic curve. It's going through 9 on the y-axis. It's got a minimum of minus 1, 7. So it looks like this. Make sure when you're drawing that graph that you've got the 9 and the minus 1, 7 clearly labelled. For part C, we need to describe fully the transformation that maps the curve with equation y equals f of x onto the curve with equation y equals g of x, where gx equals 2 lots of x minus 2 all squared plus 4x minus 3. So to do this, we're going to transform g of x into an expression in terms of f of something. And to help us with that, we can see at the beginning of g of x, it's very similar to f of x, but instead of x, we've got x minus 2. So if we can change the 4x into 4 lots of x minus 2, then we've got this. So here's our expression. Replacing the x with an x minus 2, we'd actually get 4x minus 8 if we expanded that. So I've also put a plus 8 in there to cancel out the 8. And there's our minus 3 on the end. And if you just check, this second expression here is exactly the same as the expression on the line above. Simplifying that, we get 2 lots of x minus 2 squared plus 4 lots of x minus 2 plus 5. Now, this is really similar to f of x now. If you think of what f of x minus 2 would look like, the first two terms are correct. We've replaced x with x minus 2. Our last term, the 5, isn't quite right. It's four lower than it should be. So what we've actually got is f of x minus two minus four.
got that minus 4 on the end because otherwise we'd have a plus 9 for f of x minus 2. We want plus a 5 for our expression. So there's g of x. Now that we've changed it into f, we can look at what kind of transformation it is. This kind of transformation, by what we've learned already, is a translation. The minus 2 inside the function means it moves two places to the right along the x-axis. The minus 4 outside of the function means it moves four places down along the y-axis. So we've got a translation of 2 minus 4. Now for C part 2, we want to find the range of the function h of x, which equals 21 over 2x squared plus 4x plus 9. Now replacing the denominator of this with our four part A answer, we get 21 over two lots of x plus 1 squared plus 7. Now the reason I've done this is because in a completed square function, We've got our square there, and we know that x plus 1 squared has to be larger than or equal to 0. Hence, the denominator has to be larger than or equal to 7. This means that h of x must be smaller than or equal to 21 over 7, hence smaller than or equal to 3. We also know that h of x is a positive number, 21, over a function which is positive. So itself can never be smaller than 0. So h of x is larger than 0, smaller than or equal to 3. Note that because h of x has got a 21 for the numerator, it can't be equal to 0. It's got to be strictly larger than. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.